Thank you to Corsair for sending us to Computex 2016 this year. Check out their lap dog. It allows you to use desktop peripherals on the couch. Also, thanks to MSI. We'll be checking out their stuff later on the show. Welcome to the Inwin booth. They have eight different computers that were modded for the Mod in Taiwan competition. There's a lot on the line. Three different prizes of $5,000 and full system rigs, all this kind of stuff. And you guys can vote. You guys are worth 30% of the total vote. So let's walk through each one and see which one's your favorite. First up is Coat of Arms by BS Mods. They have the 30th anniversary logo on the shield on the back. They have a sword on the front. It is very obviously a medieval theme. One of my favorite things actually harkens back to Scrapyard Wars. They have this stuff that they found at Home Depot, which goes behind the cross and on the inside of the computer as a skirt for the motherboard tray, which is just, I, I don't even know what it was, just stuff from Home Depot. Apparently it cost 20 bucks and it adds a ton to the theme. It looks perfectly medieval. Next up was Titanfall by Team Mongoose, another Mod 24 contestant, which is pretty cool to see. One thing that I really liked about this rig is they didn't leave anything bare. Everything was covered by something and then painted and then textured and it just looks great. They have the Titanfall eye up on the front, they have the trailer playing on the front, which is actually a pretty cool touch. And then they scratched up the SSDs, which is cool because they're different colors. One of them was, I believe, silver, the other one was red. Now they made them both look Titanfall. And right on the top of the front, there's the 30th anniversary logo. Then we have Computer 3, Pulsar by MBF. They completely, absolutely changed the inside of this case. The motherboard is in a different direction. The radiator is on an angle. They have IO coming out a completely different part of the computer. They have water cooling hard pipes coming in and out the back of the case with reservoirs out the back completely in a stack all the way down. Pretty cool space inspired case. But unfortunately, there is no 30th anniversary logo and it did start to leak, so it has been shut off, which is the reason why it's not shining up all nice and blue like it was earlier when we first showed up. Our fourth contestant is State of the Art by Running With Scissors. They have the 30th anniversary logo on the back and they have what looks very much like the WAN Show logo going all throughout the computer. So they might get an extra point or two from us for that. The, in the inside, I also have to point out that while they do have sleeve cables like a couple of the other groups do, they actually sleeved their own at the event to at least a certain degree, which is pretty damn cool. And I must say, for an event that was eight hour segments over three days, this front glass panel looks like it was from factory. Extremely clean, would very much expect to see it on a case. Very cool. Then we have 509 by Babe Tech, another space-inspired computer with some pretty interesting modifications. They have acrylic stacked with metal and then glued together and pasted on the case, which makes it look like a spaceship from Descent, which is actually kind of cool. I love that old game. Inside the reservoir in the top, there is an InWin logo, which does count as the 30th anniversary thing, but because of the bubbles, it is a little bit hard to see, so I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. They also have another 30th anniversary callout on the right-hand side panel, where there's a lot more of the like spaceship style as Aesthetic. Then for number six, we have WMD by Team Down Under. These guys went absolutely crazy. There's so much stuff going on. I'm not entirely sure where to start, but I will start with their external radiator, which kind of reminds me of whole room water cooling. The tubes go at the back, just like in whole room water cooling. Then they have three triple rads all strapped together in what looks like a backpack, which is pretty cool. And there's an LCD display that has a readout that comes from Ida64. I also appreciate that they didn't let anywhere go without bullets. Even the reservoir on the inside of the case is rounded with bullets on the inside, which is pretty sweet. And I like the oil drum style reservoirs on the front fits the military aesthetic as well. Then we have Glass City by SMPC Modding. This is a meticulously clean and tidy build. They have glass on the back that shows their cable management, a very bold move for a time-restrained competition. In the front, they have beautiful custom brushed aluminum, which is on the power supply and around the inside of the case, and then their own pass-through panel for the water cooling so that it can go to the reservoir up in the front. Another fun note is that they used water cooling heat sinks on their memory, but then didn't water cool them. It actually looks really nice and clean with that metal. But I do unfortunately have to point out that they didn't include the 30th anniversary logo anywhere on the build. And last, number eight, we have Skull Trail by Kuhn Mod. This is a beautiful rig. It has a vertical graphics card, which I think works really, really well for this case. I do like the blue aesthetic that they did throughout. It is a little bit of an age aesthetic, but I think it worked really well here. They added a quad rad up in the top, which is actually pretty cool. There's a little bit of controversy over the rig because some of the metals were CNC'd and painted by Inwin, but I don't I don't know how the rules exactly worked out, so we'll see how that ends up. But regardless, it is an absolutely beautiful build. And one thing that I really appreciate that they did is use glass panels on each side. This door and this door are both glass panels, and it looks great.
So if you want to vote, and I think you should, go to mod.in-win.com, and that'll probably be somewhere around here anyways. Also, again, thank you to Corsair for bringing us here. Check out the lap dog if you like gaming on your couch, if you want to play, like, Civ or something on the TV. That's pretty cool. Also, thank you to MSI. They have an Aegis desktop computer that we're going to check out here, and a new GTX 1080, so stay tuned for that. And stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips if you want to see all the rest of our Computex 2016 content.